A bipartisan deal on guns has cleared its first hurdle in the U.S. Senate. But now the bill is facing Republican headwinds in the House. Today, the House GOP leaders Kevin McCarthy and Steve Scalise reportedly announced in a closed-door meeting that they will oppose the gun package and whip up votes against it. Notably, Scalise is a shooting survivor himself. The Senate's latest attempt to do anything about mass shootings comes in the wake of the racist rampage at a grocery store in Buffalo, New York, and, of course, the slaughter of the elementary school students and their teachers in Uvalde. If Congress passes this bill, it would be the most significant gun safety legislation in nearly three decades. But time and again, we've seen gun reform proposals rise and fall after shootings in America. The question is, will this time be different? CBC's Shamari Stone on what's in the bill and the road ahead. Gun safety legislation is making its way through the Senate. Well, this time is different. Receiving enough Republican support to clear a procedural hurdle. This time, the Democrats came our way and agreed to advance some common sense solutions. The vote signaling better odds the full measure passes in the Senate. The bill is real progress. It will save lives. And it is my intention to make sure the Senate passes this bill. The bipartisan deal incentivizes states to pass red flag laws, increases penalties for gun traffickers, enhances a background check for gun buyers under 21, and closes the so-called boyfriend loophole, which prevents romantic partners convicted of domestic violence from buying guns. The significant thing we were able to get in response to that was a agreement to limit the bar to uh, firearms to five years. I think that was a significant step in the right direction, and um, that's, uh, that's what we uh, agreed to do. 14 Senate Republicans, alongside all 50 Democrats, voted to advance the gun safety bill, which would be enough to clear the chamber's 60-vote filibuster on a final vote. I am more than optimistic. I am all but certain that we're going to have strong bipartisan support. If passed in the Senate, the measure heads to the Democratic-controlled House, where it can likely pass without Republican support. Despite opposition from GOP leadership, some Republicans are on board. On Twitter, Republican Congressman Tony Gonzalez, who represents the district of the Uvalde mass shooting, says, quote, as a congressman, it's my duty to pass laws that never infringe on the Constitution while protecting the lives of the innocent. In the coming days, I look forward to voting yes on the bipartisan Safer Communities Act. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer's goal is to hold a final vote by Friday before Congress leaves for a two-week July 4th recess. Shep? All right. Thanks very much. Appreciate it.